Welcome to the NOV Theory of Wash Pipe and Packing Operations. Today we will explore the theory of wash pipe operation as well as disassembly, inspection, and reassembly of wash pipe component. Let's get started. This is a standard wash pipe. The purpose of the wash pipe is to provide a channel through which drilling mud flows from a stationary side to a rotational side. The wash pipe assembly allows for rotation of the top drive system drilling string. Metal spacers are sandwiched with rubber seals to maintain a leak-free and secure environment for the drilling mud. Each seal in this assembly seals the drilling mud pressure by its interaction with the wash pipe and a backup ring. To do this, the internal diameter of the seal is just a hair smaller than the outside diameter of the wash pipe, creating a low pressure seal for drilling mud. As you can see, as each seal fails, there is enough of a gap between the metal rings and wash pipe to allow the pressure of the mud to flow to the next seal to be held. Also, you will notice a small gap between the metal rings because of the thickness of the rubber seals. These gaps will go away when the packing box is screwed back in, compressing the metal rings, and thus preventing any leaks to the outside of the rings, regardless of any rubber ring failures. For this demonstration, we will be using a wash pipe stand to simulate most top drive systems and swivels. We will concentrate on one of the most critical maintenance aspects of the top drive wash pipe and packing assembly maintenance. The wash pipe and packing assembly are found in the central part of the top drive. During normal operations, it is recommended that the wash pipe and packing assembly be greased twice daily or every 10 rotating hours. Drilling fluid leakage around the packing box or wash pipe packing assembly indicate that it's time to change or at least repack the wash pipe assembly. Prior to removal of the wash pipe assembly, make sure you are familiar with all your company's safety procedures. Make sure you have all of your personal protective equipment to include lanyards attached to all hand tools and loose objects. It is also critical to follow all safety, shutdown, and isolation procedures. Warning! Always remember to shut down the mud pumps and bleed off all hose pressure before removing any parts from the top drive or swivel. Lock out and tag all mud pumps, draw works, and top drive controls to prevent accidental startup. Here's a helpful hint. The threads on the wash pipe packing box and holding nut are left-handed threads. The standards wash pipe assembly has hammer nuts on its wash pipe nut and packing box. The hammer nuts are provided so that a special wrench and hammer can be used to tighten the wash pipe nut and packing box during installation. As soon as your wash pipe is removed from the top drive, immediately reinstall your spare unit which has been properly packed and greased. When disassembling the wash pipe, be sure to have an open work area and all tools and parts ready to go. The first step is to remove the O-rings at either end of the wash pipe and discard. These parts are not serviceable and must be replaced. Next, remove the holding screw. The grease fitting is removed next. Turn the wash pipe over and remove the packing box from the wash pipe. Slide the packing box straight up and off and set the wash pipe aside. Begin removing the packing rings and keep them in order. Next, remove the spacers from the packing box. Tag and mark each ring based on the order in which it was removed from the wash pipe. If you or someone else will be examining wash pipe failure, it's important to keep the spacers and packing rings in order and tagged with numbers for examination of wear. Tagging is only done if a failure study is needed. 
Before removing the holding nut, it is helpful to mark the same number sequence on the wash pipe as the removed rings. This shows the actual ring placement for analysis. Remove the wash pipe from the nut. Now, we'll remove the fifth packing ring. Turn the wash pipe over and pry off the snap ring with a screwdriver to release the ring from the wash pipe. Discard the snap ring because it is not serviceable and must be replaced. Next, slide the fifth spacer ring off the grooved end of the wash pipe. Finally, remove and tag the fifth packing ring. This ring is a stationary ring and does not normally show wear from rotation. For shipping, place all the packing rings with tags back onto the wash pipe in the places where they originally were for failure analysis. Now, thoroughly clean all grease and mud from your spacers. Refer to the service manual to ensure inside diameters do not exceed the maximum allowable wear. Using a caliper, measure the inside diameter of each spacer ring. When inspecting the spacers, Make sure that the flat portions of each spacer are free of burrs that could prevent the spacers from seating properly. Any burrs should be lightly filed flush. If surfaces are out of flat, replace the spacer. The edge that directly backs up the packing should be free of cuts, nicks, and burrs. If the edge is damaged, replace the spacer. Next, check the inside diameter of the wash pipe nut and the packing box where the wash pipe passes through. On the holding ring, inspect the drive dogs to ensure the undercut is visible. If it is not, replace the holding ring. Next, check that the flat portions of the holding ring are free of burrs and lightly file flush if necessary. The spring tension in the ball of the grease fitting shall be inspected. Replace the grease fitting if the ball is not properly tensioned. Even if the grease fitting is working properly, it shall be replaced every six months or every other rebuild, whichever is longer. When assembling the wash pipe, be sure to have an open work area and all tools and parts ready to go. Begin assembly by installing new packings into the spacer rings. The packings come as a complete set along with O-rings. Use grease to hand pack the cavity between the packing lip and the spacer. Keep other surfaces clean. Do not grease the outside of the spacers or inside of the packing box. Doing so may not allow the spacer rings to properly stop leaks. Here is some important information on grease. Use a multi-purpose lithium-based grease for cold temperatures below 32 Fahrenheit. This will be grease NLGI number 1. For above 32 Fahrenheit, use NLGI number 2. Also available from National Oil Well Varco is a high temperature grease. Next, tap the greased packing rings into the spacers. Install the first greased and packed ring into the packing box. It's the one with the tapped hole. Take care to align this tapped hole in the spacer ring with the countersunk hole in the packing box. Alignment is important because this hole is where you will next install the grease fitting. The holding screw will be installed after the last spacer ring has been dropped into the packing box. When the screw is installed, turn the packing box on its side and prepare to grease the inside cavities. 
liberally apply grease to the insides of the spacer rings, filling all voids and covering each ring well. Continuing on with the assembly of the holding nut and final packing, slide the last spacer ring over the slotted end of the wash pipe and install the snap ring. A new snap ring is provided with each new wash pipe. Flip the wash pipe and pack and install the last packing ring just like before. Slide the ring over the wash pipe and into the spacer ring. Be cautious not to damage the lip of the spacer ring. This is the stationary ring which does not rotate. Once installed, slide the packing nut over the assembly and over the spacer ring. Next, we'll install the assembled and packed packing box, being cautious not to damage the lips of the spacer rings inside. Clean up any excess grease and give the assembly a few extra shots of grease through the grease fitting. Finally, install new O-rings on each end of the assembly. Use a small amount of grease to help keep the O-ring in place. This will keep it in place and prevent it from falling out or pinching during installation. Your wash pipe is now ready to go into service or into storage until needed. Before installation begins, be sure to clean and inspect the threads of both the gooseneck and the main shaft. Threads should be clean of all muds and grease and free of any burrs, paint, and cuts. This inspection will help with smooth installation. When manually installing the wash pipe assembly, lift and place in the gooseneck support area and hammer it into place. Here are a few helpful hints to help with installation. First, be sure your bottom O-ring has not moved or fallen out of its groove. Next, hammer the lugs tight, but remember that these are left-handed threads. Finally, remember not to over-tighten when hammering the lugs. There will be metal-to-metal -metal contact when you reach proper tightness. That completes the National Oil Well Varco video, Theory of Wash Pipe and Packing Operation. Thank you for watching.